What is up guys? So Earth is finally back and I love this game mode. It is so much fun. Let's be honest though, the majority of people who play this take it way too seriously. More seriously than a ranked game. They try hard their pants off. So let's go over some of the most OP, broken, but still fun champs you can play in this mode. We're going to start this off with Sona, probably one of the most ridiculous champions spamming her stuff all of the time. Seriously, once you get all three of your spells, it feels like we're back in StarCraft, spamming that keyboard for some crazy APM. Full AP is of course the only way to go in Earth. You spam your Q for stupid amounts of damage and poke. You spam your E for crazy move speed, which by the way makes it almost impossible to hit skill shots on you. And you spam your W to heal back to full in a few seconds. The most irritating part of this is probably actually her E. I know it sounds weird, but it lets you dive in and out of fights while waiting for her damage to be back up. And you just whiz around. It's so much fun. She is definitely one for you sweaty tryhards, but actually Actually, she's kind of fun face rolling the keyboard too. Now remember how annoying AP Cog used to be back in the day like in normal games? Well yeah, he's even worse in Earth. With the recent changes and stuff, I actually thought AP Cog was going to be dead so we might escape it this time round, but sadly I was so, so wrong. His ult will do more than half of your health with one hit. Seriously, just one ooze trail into ult will put you back onto the fountain. The more sadistic of you will be happy to know that Suicide Squad Cog is actually a thing in Earth. You do a crap ton of damage with your passive and if you just fancy running into the enemy team then go for it. You'll actually do some work. We do have some new keystones since last time and Deathfire is pretty insane with AP Cog. No mana issues and you just spam, spam, spam till you get bored and run in to die with your passive or they pile onto you and you also die. I guess you're dead either way but he's so strong and a lot of fun. One of my personal favorites and special picks is actually AP Trindamir. Yes, AP as in Deathcap Trindamir. Do you guys remember Beyblades and stuff like that? Well, this is pretty much how it feels when you play Trind. Your E is on such a stupidly low cooldown and you literally just spin and spin and spin, killing everyone. This damage is insane and hilarious. You don't even need to auto attack, honestly. Just get in there, spin and show them your magic trick, making their health disappear. Your heal is really good as well, being AP. Remember a few seasons ago, AP Trind was actually a legit pick and we all know how Earth is where AP versions of champions come alive. He's so slippery, he's invulnerable with his ultimate and heals for a ton, does damage, heals an annoying perfect for earth one of the most fun picks ever actually is going to be Blitzcrank. He's one of the best champs to have on your team if you're playing with friends. He can set up so many funny plays. Seriously, recording this game, me and my friends were just in stitches for so much of it. There's nothing more satisfying than having a TP flank Blitzcrank run in, flash and fart with his ult to kill someone. The low cooldown hooks mean even the worst players can do something with this guy. The damage is insane and of course, as per Earth rules, we're actually just stacking as much AP as we can get. AP Blitzcrank is pretty disgusting in a normal game, but in Earth, it just becomes ridiculous. A whole nother level. There's just something not quite right about being able to one-shot practically anyone as a Blitzcrank. Well, it's not right for the guy who just gets one shot, but for Blitzcrank, it's so satisfying. Now, Echo definitely has to be on here. He's just a right bugger to deal with anyway, but in Earth, that just becomes even worse. So can we spam our Q endlessly? Yes. Can we dash around constantly and never be cool? Yep. And can we ult all the time to heal back up to a full sadly yeah we can this is just ridiculous and is definitely one of the most try hard picks you can go for in earth but he is actually kind of fun there is just something about darting around endlessly and blowing everyone up that is so much fun who would have guessed killing people is actually fun if you wanted to learn echo 2 earth is a really good start to get to grips with him and just always have that ult available if you screw something up i don't think there's much point in me going into this one a lot we all know how dumb echo is usually and earth is just echo times 10. Now this is another one of my favorites actually, AP Jax. You kind of suck early a little bit, just a tad, but when you get some items, oh my god, do you just rip everyone apart. The lifesteal and spell vamp you build is insane. The ult proc and your Q and W are on about a one second cooldown. Basically, you just hop around all day, you use your W all the time in fights, and then you have your ult passive damage on top. All of them have an AP ratio, it is crazy. AP Jax actually isn't that bad in the normal game. He's just more of a burst champion really. The best thing about 
about Earth now, though, is that we get that burst over and over because it's on such a short cooldown. It's just so good. It's a little bit face roll, like, not gonna lie, in late game team fights, your cooldowns are up so often, you're just spamming everything trying to kill people, but it's really fun, and full build Jax is insane. So, Helicopter Hecarim is up next, one of the most famous Earth picks because you can literally spam that Q over and over and over. There's almost no downtime. Having TP up all the time can lead to some pretty nifty engages as well. And I don't know if you've ever seen a full speed Hecarim charging at you, but it is terrifying. His W actually heals for a decent chunk, but the Q is going to be the main thing. Just so much constant damage. With the distortion change too, I'm pretty sure you can actually have your ghost up almost permanently now too with mastery. Just imagine having ghost all the time running around. He's actually really good at backdooring things and split pushing because of how fast he is. So he's one for those of you who just really want to win no matter what. Evelyn is probably one of the most broken earth champions in the entire game mode just because she already has insanely low cooldowns and now they're basically up 24 7. She does a huge amount of damage anyway just pretty squishy and normally you can burst her down before she kills you. Well yeah in earth that doesn't happen anymore. She just does so much damage so quickly there is nothing you can do. Apart from being able to just one shot everyone which is a ton of fun the funniest thing for me is just getting mobility boots early and running around the entire map kind of like this invisible person running around killing everyone go top and kill someone run to mid run to bot just run around and kill everyone it's so much fun and it's so annoying for the enemy team zed is probably the most try hard champion in this video because one he is super strong but two you actually have to try and concentrate to dick on people with him i don't personally find this one fun but he is really good if you want to try hard your ass off and pull off some amazing combos see for me i'm a simple man i just want to face roll my keyboard and kill stuff that's all i want your e is on like half a second cooldown your poke is insane and basically it's just like a normal zed except more damage and you know that little bit of downtime after he's used his ult where he can't kill you again well you yeah, that doesn't exist anymore. He's also insane at split pushing in this mode. So if you want to pull off a really nasty combo, Hecarim and Zed together, and if you want the W by any means necessary, that is a good choice. Finally, number 10, Morgana isn't exactly OP as a whole, I guess, but she is so funny. It's kind of overpowered if you get it right. Her bind can basically be permanent. Just watch this. Okay, what are you even supposed to do against that? It's honestly just the funniest thing in the world to trap someone and have the rest of your team spam stuff at them. There's like nothing you can do. This isn't necessarily the most OP pick on its own, I guess, but in a team of friends, she is amazing. One bind mid game will just set up everyone, plus your pool of damage and maybe another bind as well after. Actually, okay. Okay, I have this really nasty trick, right? This is disgusting, but build a Ryla as you bind, you pull, and after the bind stops, that'll be slowed, and it makes hitting the second bind so easy. That is dirty. You are welcome. So there you go, guys. Most OP fun champs in Earth. I love this game mode, and I wanted to make some content for it. So like, subscribe, comment, share, but for now, let's go to the robots.